honored to sit in uh, with the uh, committee and uh, the council general, uh, uh, folks from the uh, embassy of Israel and Germany, uh, who have been working very hard for several years to put together a plan. Uh, we actually saw six plans. One has been chosen, uh, and the memorial will honor the 11 Israelis, uh, athletes who were slain right over here um, while they were at the Olympic Games. And uh, another piece of all this has been that we all read about the 11 Israelis, but what has been forgotten is the one German police officer uh, who was murdered as well. And uh, he will be honored and remembered uh, as well, so there will be 12 uh, victims and they will be honored in a, in a very um, uh, beautiful way uh, with some background of their families, their survivors, and material uh, about their lives and what they did. And this will happen uh, right over here. And the concept uh, behind the memorial is, of course, remembrance and to uh, recall the event, but also for our children to educate them and uh, remind them that this was a horrible uh, period in our life at the Olympics. Uh, God forbid this should never happen again. And inform them uh, that the Olympic Games is something special and uh, we all need to come together. So this will be a very sacred place. And the concept that was brought out at the meeting was the memorial will be uh, right over here so that uh, anybody who comes will never ever lose sight of the uh, dormitories which is where uh, the murders took place and that was a big uh, strategic piece of, uh, of placing it over here. Uh, September 5th, uh, the uh, several days into the uh, Olympics in 72, uh, the terrorists uh, broke in to the dormitories over here, and uh, it was uh, just here on uh, 31 Kanli Strasse, uh, which is where the Israelis were housed. Uh, the Americans were right next door, and uh, I have uh, been told uh, from uh, many different people over the years as I've studied this and been to the Olympic Games and have written about it, that some of the Israelis actually uh, uh, were alerted in time uh, to get out and did survive, but went to the American uh, compound and hid under the beds. And some of the coaches uh, offered protection for them. Uh, so this is the place, this is the memorial, and the hope is that uh, we will never forget uh, these victims and we will remember their families and uh, we hope that this tragedy will never happen again. We're here to be advisors and consultants uh, to the Munich uh, Olympic Memorial Project, which has uh, been underway for, for many years uh, to honor the victims of the 72 Olympics, the 11 uh, Israelis, the one uh, German police, so the 12 victims. Uh, this is a project that's been underway for a few years with the Bavarian government and the Israeli delegation working very closely together. We've been invited, Global Sports has been invited to advise and, and give input. Uh, we're honored uh, to be here. Uh, it is a little sad that it's taken 42 years since the event. Uh, a lot of politics involved, but nevertheless we're looking forward and uh, very, very happy that this event is taking place and we're very honored that Global Sports uh, has asked to uh, be a part of this in uh, two years time uh, on the eve of the 2016 Olympics in Rio. Uh, Global Sports Development of course will be there and we'll be running our education programs. Uh, we will be here uh, on the eve of the Olympics because that is the day or the week that they will be opening the uh, memorial um, and the commemorance of the 
a dedication of, of this place uh, where the uh, terrible uh, hostage and, and uh, murder uh, took place. So we look forward to working uh, with the team here. We'll be back in Munich uh, quite often, and uh, we're very honored. Global Sports Development is very honored to uh, be part of uh, this very important, uh, significant project.